Hey guys, this is Sapinia. Welcome back to Navin Automation Labs. So in today's video, we are going to talk about that. How can we run the test rigor test cases on another cloud like Lambda test? In the previous video, we have seen with the browser stack. Now there is another cloud vendor available in the market that is Lambda test. So how can we execute our test cases on Lambda test? This is what we are going to talk about. So the concept will remain same. We will create an account on Lambda test and these are my test rigor. This is a different cloud. And on uh, test uh, on uh, Lambda test, we are going to create our account. It will give you our access key and the username. We will just configure this access key and username in our test trigger, and we will try to trigger the test cases directly from here. And then we will see that the entire test suite is running, or my test case are running on test trigger platform. You can pick any browser, either it is uh, Edge browser, Firefox, or Chrome, or anything, and then you can exactly run your test cases on Lambda test as well. So let's see how to do this. So what I'll do, I'll open a browser and uh, open a new tab and you simply go to lambdatest.com. Here you can see cross browser testing on the cloud. And uh, what we can do here, we can just directly go to sign up. So you have to create an account here. If you don't have account, please create that. So let's see the first name that I'm going to create that is a uh, test uh, rigor. Some email ID you can use or you can use your own Gmail ID also. Some password that is what I'm writing here. Let's see my password here and any phone number that you really want to write. So I'm just randomly writing any phone number here like this and agree and then free sign up. When you do a free sign up, then after that, it will just simple ask you to verify your email ID. So we can verify that. So this is the Lambda test verification email and let's verify that. So it's saying pin is 20289. So we can enter here 20289. So yes, verification is done. Then, uh, what kind of purpose, what is the purpose of that? So we are going to use for automation testing point of view. You can use real device or real time testing also. In fact, you can do manual testing there as well. So here, this is the configuration that is what they have given. But right now we are not using same thing, Java, Node or Csha. We are using test trigger. So we can directly go to their dashboard. So let's go to dashboard here. And uh, here on the dashboard, we will see our execution and everything, okay? So right now, no execution. It's saying that zero test cases are running. Perfect. Now we will go to the test rigor and let's sign in here. And uh, what I'll do here is I'm going to create a new test suite. So this time I'm writing this is a Lambda test uh, suite, something like this. Okay. I want to do desktop web testing application that I'm going to use is open cart and uh, the operating system any operating system let's see windows as of now you can select that the browser is chrome and then you can make it zero the auto discovery and click on create as suite when you click on create a suite then uh, okay so yes so logged in and then we are going to write one test over here so let me do one thing let me cancel this task click on add custom test cases and the same steps that I'm going to write. So I don't want to spend time on the test cases. So these are the test uh, steps that I have already copied actually that we used multiple times in the previous scripts as well. So I'll just do one thing. I'll just, I'm just going to copy paste here. And then here I'm giving a new name. For example, let's see, this is my uh, open cart test on where on Lambda test. Okay. Some nice name that I'm giving and, uh, just click on add and run. So by default, it will be running on test trigger cloud right now. So you can see that execution will start because we have not configured anything with respect to Lambda test in test trigger. So let it run over here. We are not bothered about on test trigger cloud right now. So what you have to do, you have to go to settings section. So let's click on settings and click on integrations once again. And here you have to select Lambda test. In the last video, we selected browser stack, but today we have to select enable Lambda test. Now in here, in enable Lambda test section, it's saying, give me the username and the access key. How will you get it? So you will be getting your username and access key from here. So what do you just need to do? You just go to your profile. So simply go to profile section and under the profile section, you will get your access token and uh, the username. So see, this is the username that uh, is available here. And then you just simply write your username here. And the access token, you can just copy. This is a unique token. You can just regenerate a token also. You can just refresh it once it is being used. So you really want to regenerate, you can that you can do that as well. 
and paste your access key here. If you're using any tunnel concept, that tunnel name also you can pass it. So we are not using any tunnel right now. Just let it be like this. Now I'm going to click on save. So let's click on save. You can see application updated. Now we have to configure the multiple browser section. So let's go to multiple browsers. And I don't want to run my test cases on test trigger. So see by default, it's giving provider is test trigger. I can just, you can delete that. But here in the provider section, now Lambda test is also coming. So Lambda underscore test, you can select that. And on which operating system you want to run. Now you can see the Lambda test and then the which operating system. So I want to select, let's see Windows and the operating system that I'm going to use 10 on which browser, let's see Chrome and which browser version. So I'll say that the browser version is uh, 105 or any browser or any previous browser also, we can select that. Simple click on add browser. I don't want to use test trigger cloud, so you can delete it right now. And once again, another combination you can select, let's see if I would like to select any Chrome and some older version also. Older version means let's see around version number 77, that also we can add it. Let's take one more, let's see Windows 11 this time, and let's take Firefox also. And then on Firefox also, let's take something the latest like around 104, we can take it and add the browser. And you can select any operating system, you can select Mac OS also, and then any version browser specific thing, you can use that Microsoft Explorer, Edge, Edge Insider, Opera also, you can select that. So let's see, these are the three configuration I have used, or I can do one thing, Microsoft Edge also, let me take it. And uh, what I can do, let's see, running on 105. So four browsers I have selected that I want my test case should be running on Lambda test cloud browser on Windows machine, on Windows 10 and 11, two Chrome, one Firefox and Microsoft Edge browser. Let's see it is working or not. Make sure don't forget to save it. So I'm going to save it as well. Then again, you go to test case uh, section and let's try to trigger the test. So let's do one thing, let's try to trigger it from here. So I just open that and then see the first time it got executed because we were running on the, on the test trigger cloud, but I'm going to retest it. And let's see, it is really triggering your test cases on the Lambda test or not. So this is the execution link. You can just right click on it, open the new tab. And then here you can see the test will start in some time you can see step-by-step -step screenshots, everything is coming over here. You can see we are running on the Lambda test, four test cases are running in the parallel mode, operating system and the Chrome browser with respect to their version also it's getting displayed and see step-by-step -step, it's coming. So a screenshot, you can check it here. And if you really want to see your running test cases, you can just come and uh, what you can do, you can just simply click on dashboard and let's see on the dashboard, it is really showing my running test cases or not. So let's see, okay, or we can do one thing that, uh, okay, let me just check it again. See, is it still running? Okay, yes, so here you can see that, yeah, the test case is getting executed. So on this particular test, this is completely passed. This is also passed. But my question is that I really want to see that my test case is getting displayed or not. So here you can see re recent a uh, test. Can you see that? And see Firefox uh, 104, Chrome on Windows 11, sorry, Edge on Windows 11, 77 and uh, 105 and 77 Chrome browser on Windows 10 also. You can just check it here. The recent test, if you really want to see any test, you just simply click on it and uh, see. So you can just directly go to the automation sections also and under automation sections, you will see here. And if you really want to see and you really want to play the video, you can play the video also. See, this is the Windows sign. This particular test took around 36 seconds. And uh, if you really want to see, I'm going to make it in the full screen mode. And then the test is actually running over here. You can see it's absolutely working fine. And you can just, if you really want to download the video, you can download it also. And then all such things, you can do that. Perfect. And then it's giving you all the metadata and all the steps here. You can see that. So I have not written any single kind of code. And then you can see that all the execution and logs, everything, all the different commands that are being used by Lambda test to uh, play that test, you are able to see that. If you really want to browse your test, again, you can just come and then you can just search um, four tests that you actually executed. All are getting completed here. You can search it date-wise also, you can search it and uh, name-wise also, you can search it from here. You can just click on this uh, build section once again. So let's see in build section what exactly it is showing. 
in the build section it's saying yeah under lambda test test rigor integration these four test cases we actually executed i mean on these four combinations of platform and the browser combination we actually executed our test cases on lambda test cloud perfect whatever you want to see that let's see on the edge browser also so for the edge browser also it will show you the video if you really want to play it and then other metadata video one is available you can download that video from here this mp4 file input configuration that this is the uh, simple json okay which is coming from the integration point of view from the test trigger and some basic information about that okay fine test trigger web driver and all such things although we are not using web driver but automation backed by web driver because lambda test is actually internally using a uh, you know a web driver script somewhere to execute the test cases here perfect and other metadata resolution and all such things you can check it here and then finally you can see the reports that all my four combinations working fine with one single test running on four different uh platforms combination of your uh, platform and the browser and then everything is working fine nice and these are four assertions that we have returned and that's it so this was my script not a single line of code nothing no write no test ng java selenium nothing just simple plain english a sentence that you really need to write in terms of writing the test case so this is my test step the scroll page down contains that uh, link exactly to contact us and then check that page contains all these four uh, pricing against the different products and that's it so likewise you can just check that if you really want to see the report also that also you can see click on reporting section and then here you will see that these are the reports got generated so overall result and uh, on chrome on firefox i think edge is still running maybe it will it will take some time to be uh, display the result over here if you really want to see that review also that also you can see that so this is the home screen and then yeah after home screen we you know did not go anywhere so it's just simply showing you have only one screen to show that's it again back to test cases it will give you the tabular tabs also see you can see that windows chrome windows firefox if you really want to see the a screenshot strip here that also you can see that and windows microsoft edge that also you can see it over here perfect so it's super easy and just configure it the configuration is also very easy you don't need to write any single line of code to uh, configure it you just need to go to settings integrations and whatever the cloud that you are using let's see in some companies you are using both the clouds lambda test and the sauce labs you can enable sauce labs and then enter the sauce labs username and the access key that also you can do that or in the uh let's see browser stack also you can integrate with that so on three different clouds browser stack lambda test sauce labs including the test trigger cloud also you can execute your test cases back to back on four different different clouds here which is an amazing feature provided by test rigor here so that's all for this video i hope you liked it if you like it please share it start using test trigger it's an amazing tool especially designed for manual testers or product managers you really want to uh, quickly design your test cases in plain english sentence and running the test cases with these clouds i'll see you in the next video guys till then take care and good luck